Well, I got some expensive food sensitivity tests done, and I got the results yesterday. We've got your basics like all dairy, all wheat, uh, peaches, bananas, some of my favorite, um, yogurt, that was healthy, but not anymore, buffalo milk, I could avoid, but sugar, cheese, egg whites, pineapple, b vanilla bean, and then we got our milder ones. Essentially, this test demonstrates that this individual has an IgG-mediated response to essentially every food, specifically the ones that she consumes. So IgG responses are not actually recognized as being a diagnostic tool for food allergies. But most food sensitivity tests that you will get will document your IgG antibodies. Interestingly, these antibodies actually indicate a tolerance for food antigens, meaning that you can consume them without an allergic reaction. And you will only form IgG antibodies to foods that you regularly consume, or have regularly consumed in the past which is why most health educators indicate that food sensitivity tests typically do not actually provide any credible results. And if you want to understand your allergic responses to different foods, an IgE food allergy test will give you your specific allergen triggers. So if you've taken a food sensitivity test before and all of your favorite foods popped up, unless you actually feel an allergic reaction or some sort of negative feelings, after consuming these foods, you're probably not allergic, rather you've simply developed a tolerance to these foods, which is mediated by the IgG antibodies within the immune system. With that being said, if you'd like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.